Okay guys, so the last how-to video we did, the five DIY stuff, the five hack, whatever the way you wanna put it, to do a simple maintenance on your bike. So we had a ton, ton of requests. Hey, can we do that on an old school bike? Here you got it. And you know what? Coincidentally, this is this is this is my bike. It's not my original bike, but I do own it. And you know, Fourth of July, you go down to Huntington Beach. I hang out with you know the homies and all that. I was trying to get this thing going. And some of you guys have been in here. You guys notice it's been hanging up on the the ceiling for a while. And you guys notice you guys follow me. This was the same bike I was cutting those tires off of. Those tires were petrified. You guys should have seen it. It was this bike. Amazing has not been sitting outside somebody's backyard in the sun. This thing has been garage. Look at the grips. Look how good condition these are. They're not melted. If this was set, sat outside, the paint on the, the sticker on this thing would have been faded. This seat would have been cracked. So, I'm getting ahead of myself. Guys, this is an 87 GT Performer. You, some of you guys are going, oh my God, man, that's beautiful. I had one. It's my birth year. Yeah. So, the, the tires was not exposed to the sun that much it's been in the garage the whole time and it got that like petrified it was hard it became like plastic Woo! look at that thing man speaking of fun dude i've been looking for a limo for a while come on how much oh you want 150 bucks dude it's a camera on of course it's a camera on <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my God. I, I don't know you, but you become just my enemy. He, he got that at where? A yard sale? $150, guys. 150 bucks. I could care less if there's dog crap on it. 150 bucks. Look at this, guys. Guys. You even know what kind of crazy these are? Torpor. They have to be The original profile. Oh, okay. These are the original profile cranks. Okay, These, this is money. I know they're not as good as like uh, Redline flights. If oh, wanted, you want to trade me it? Redline flights for these? I'll give you like 300 bucks for it. You These are better for like than the Redline flights. Okay. Try to find a yeah. pair of original profile square cranks. You can't. Frame? You can't. These are actually in my. Hey guys, anybody? Not the frame, not the we're frame. vlogging. No, no, do you bid? Hey, you guys, you guys fill me in. Profile original square cranks. Original. These are not the repop. Compared to the original Redline single pinch wrap, single pinch. Which one is better? I say these are more rare. These are way more rare. But this is this is a limo. Suzu uh, Huzz Pitbull brakes. Dude, anodized, anodized DK stem. Look at the anodized, it's still great because it was under a pad. So these are hard. Power light with a power bend. Guys, somebody didn't fall and bend these. Um, This guy here, dude, this is beautiful. This here is beautiful, guys. And for 150 bucks, Max. 150 bucks. Uh, so I'm okay with this. Woo! You know, I'll just run it like that. I'm just picking them before him now. I'm just going to ride it. You know what I mean? So, see, guys, you can find these. You just, guys, you just gotta look for it. Okay, guys. I have to go outside and shed a little tear. Because that bike was just too beautiful, man. Look at that thing. You did your best haggling, too. Oh, man, that thing. Woo! I'm so jealous. But we gotta go back to the main thing. So. Uh, if you guys noticed, I was cutting the tires off of these yesterday, and I thought about it. I go, wait a second, what am I doing? A lot of people have been requesting on how to how to restore these things and stuff like that. So I'm gonna give you guys a very quick tip on how to restore this without going overboard, without tearing down the whole bike, and without getting it repainted. Basically, just kind of like a little DIY light restoration, but without tearing down the whole bike. Okay. So I got right here, just all you need is a simple little rag, your clean toothbrush, okay? A jelly donut, no. Some WD-40, file, and aluminum foil. You guys are probably tripping on this. But this one here, our buddy, Polo, 
told us about this, but I'll show you a little later. So let me get started. So what I did, one of the first thing I did was, you know, I checked and believe it or not, guys, this bike, how old it is, the brake cable is actually still really good. It's just faded. The brakes in the back actually is still really good too. Okay, no, I, I disconnected down there. So I was like, you know what, man? I'm really busy here. I don't want to take this whole thing apart. So what we're going to do is you, we're going to disconnect this. We're going to disconnect this and I'm going to save these cable because you know what, guys? These cable, they look a little weather and stuff like that, but they're actually really good. They haven't frayed up. Look, all the original hardware. So I'm going to save this, okay? It's very similar to that last video. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this guy up. Look how everything stays intact. Move this thing up. Then what I'm going to do, WD-40 guys, this is not a lubricant, all right? It is a cleaner. Degreaser, cleaner. Get this thing right here. Lightly. Don't drench it. Then what I'm gonna basically do is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna wipe it, look. Look how clean that gets. All this right here, it's still good underneath. A lot of time, guys, the grease, you guys are mistaking rust for grease. You just go and you wipe this thing down. And where does the toothbrush come in? Where's my clean toothbrush? The toothbrush, I love this. This is one of the best tool I have here, guys. You go in and you see, look, look how there's grime in here. There's all this, there's this junk in here. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scrub this first. I'm gonna brush all this. Now guys, this is just simply a, a light, light clean. So you don't have to disassemble this whole thing. I can, I can disassemble this whole thing, but we're not doing that. Go in and scrub, scrub, scrub. Look, 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 look at that. Oh my God, I'm ruining it. I'm ruining this, I'm ruining this. No guys, look at this. Look at that, the original logo still on that. Look at this chrome. Go in here. Wipe off all this. You don't need soap and water. The WD-40 is actually really good for that. Gonna go in, it's super clean, okay? And then the brakes, the same thing. I'm gonna go in, and the brakes all around here, you're gonna go in, you're gonna scrub scrub all this because the, the, the grease, when it gets old, it gets all gummy. Same thing, guys. Sprocket, I still got some WD-40 on this. Let's go and scrub this. Look at that, guys. Compared to all these, see how these are all, all dirty? Look. Now I'm just giving you guys a light idea of how I do this. Just a light, light clean without tearing it down. But look at that. Come over here, Alf. See how these things are all clean now? Real, real simple. So that's the first step. Just cleaning. Just cleaning all the gunk, cleaning all that. And just like the last video, what I do after that, is after I clean all that up, then the second tip I'm gonna tell you is oil. Try flow guys, that's all we use here. That's all we use here. You know, you get a little rusty, put a little bit of oil. Uh. So you just go and dab. Remember, you clean out with WD-40 so you got rid of all the old oil. And you know what, you guys, just, just work it in. Work this thing in, work this thing in. Before you know it, it's gonna be super loose. Same thing here, the hinge. This, this. Now, if you guys wanna go all the way, remember, I'm not removing anything. I'm not gonna take apart anything, okay? You're just gonna go and you're just gonna put, just start drenching it with Triflow. Just flooding this thing. Cause you know how many years this thing's been sitting around for 35 years. Okay, all the all the oil and the grease has has gum all up, it's become like tar. Okay, put this thing back. Okay, let go of that. So much better by just doing that. Here's another tip for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little. So this is this is the second tip, but this is gonna be the 2.5. All right. You guys ever notice how hard these things are? If you want to actually loosen the tension of these, 
this thing right here, this little spring, when you open it, it's gonna pop out. And that's whenever you pull it, it's gonna pop this this brakes out. Just all you have to do is bend these in a little bit more. We're gonna take this and we're gonna we're gonna push it in. We're gonna we're gonna close this thing a little bit more. See, look. I, I don't want to remove this, okay? This is real simple. Look, see how I pop this thing out? I'm gonna bend it in a little bit more. See, it's softer. So it just in case you guys are like, hey, you know what? You know, my heart, my heart, my hand now, I got like arthritis and stuff, it's kinda hard. Take those out and bend it. And it's gonna be softer, okay? Okay, so that was number two, just lubing it, okay? The next thing I do, is you gotta notice I cut off the tires. The tires are so old, there's no way you can do it. But while I have the tire off, you gotta notice. Okay, I know I told you earlier, I'm not planning to take anything apart, but I had no choice. I gotta take the tire off on this. So I notice how beat up this is. I know there's some of you guys out there that kinda got your secret remedy and all that stuff. You know what? I don't, I don't have time to do it right now. So I'm gonna show you something real quick, what I do. This is what I have the, the file for. Can I, can I squeeze in right here? Oh, you gotta go on the How do you get on there? So, it? if you guys notice, I have the file. This is flat, okay? Watch what I'm gonna do. Look at this, guys. I'm not putting deep gouges. I'm not pushing that hard, okay? Can you guys see what I'm talking about? It's getting clean. And you know what, it's gonna, take a, it's gonna take me probably about 10 minutes on each side. And I'm not pushing it that hard, guys. Cause I don't, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I'm actually re, I'm removing a little bit of material, but not too much. Do you guys get the idea? Look at this. Look how clean this is. Ow, feel that. Right? It's, 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 it's smooth. So imagine now, guys, if I went through, I have a set right here. Look how white it is. It's smooth. Because I went through it, I went through it, I went through it. Now, to do a complete restoration, of course I'm gonna go clean this, we're gonna dye this. I'll save that for another vlog. But this is something that's real quick. Look at that guys, from this. Look, look at that, look, you guys can see what I'm getting at. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time, I'm gonna do that. You know, some of you guys are gonna drool over this, but look what I got. Shout out to GT. I wish they would've given me more, but they gave me some, so some that's better than nothing. So these are gonna go on here, guys. Look at this. Woo, this is gonna be hot, okay? Okay, so that was, that was the third tip on cleaning that. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is, you know what? On the, on the chain, on the chain, I know I try to save it. If you look at it, you know, here's the original chain. I don't know, guys, what, what, what would you guys do? Would you guys keep this and keep it kind of like that nostalgic survivor? I'd throw it away so fast, bro. Brand new 2021 sleeper about to drop. Come on. It's no appreciation. No pre you say you, you have a sleeper chain? So, so you would probably toss yeah, me Yeah, yeah, sleeper chain. All the sleeper chain. <laughs> so you shit. probably toss me out. I mean, if you look like this, maybe. <laughs> Fuck. So guys, for the chain, I'm gonna I'm gonna opt to take it out, okay? Because it, it you know hey whoever wants the chain hit me up I'll, you could have it but you know what I'm gonna pop this thing guys off I'm gonna put a brand new one on um, I'm gonna put a chrome one on you know because the white the white itself I don't know what would you do Alf white or chrome if the whites match it'd be cool but it won't match I would just hope because it's black white black white right I could probably do I could probably find it. But you know, if, if I had this bike back in the days, I'd just do chrome, okay? So you're doing stuff like that, and uh, what is it, that third, the fourth one, guys? What you guys don't understand is that these bikes are so old, how do you guys get it to stop on, on plastic? Even after I clean it up like this, you know what? The best way, and it looks clean, is we're gonna go, the cool stop, the clear pads. These things, are, they look the best. When they're on there, they look real cool and they'll stop on anything. Dude, you could put this thing on, on anything and it'll stop so good. 
So we're gonna use this on here, down here, down here. Even though this says Odyssey, look, look at the Odyssey pad, they're so good. Man, it's so cool, but you know what? It's hard, these things are hard. They're, they're, you're gonna die, you're gonna get hurt. And finally, what I'm gonna do with this thing to make it all good is I'm gonna give this thing a light bath. Really light bath, I have, I have another toothbrush. I don't know where it's at. It's probably in my travel, my travel bag somewhere out there, but it's very similar. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shower this thing down. Oh, Alf! Oh, you know, dude, that free agent has got me daydreaming, daydreaming. You guys don't even know how beautiful it is. So one of you guys go, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Did somebody like DM you or something? Because I saw you pick up the phone and you're like, wait. I picked up my phone and I saw the foil next to it. So you guys might be wondering, what is this? What is this? So our buddy Polo, he comes in here a lot. He told me this is very good to remove rust. So I saw him did it. It's rad. He goes. You know what, guys? I say that actually, that actually worked pretty good. Here, look. This is the before. You gotta admit, that looks pretty good. Some of you guys might be thinking, you know what? Hell, why don't you just use like very, very light sandpaper or scotch bright? You know what? That would actually put a lot of like, like grooves in this. It would take down material. For some reason, this thing scratches it just enough, and it doesn't, it doesn't destroy it. Look at this part right here. Do you only do it on the chrome parts? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want to do it on, on, on the, the other stuff. Look guys, see the rust that's on there? Damn. Look at that. Compare to here. Compare to this. It all came off. Aluminum foil, guys. Aluminum foil. Amazing. And you know what? He actually did this on a whole frame. And it actually did not scratch the chrome on the frame. I was blown away. So yeah, so at that point, you know, you guys can be like, all this, you know what? For me, I actually like some of the little patina that's on here. I like, I like the aging of this. I don't like to completely strip it down and get it repainted. Of course, I'll look dope, but it takes away the character and the years of it. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on those new tires, some new tubes, the new chain, some oil and reassemble this thing and there you guys go. So, thank you guys. This has been a five DIY tip on how to re, not necessarily do a restore, but kind of revive that old bike. And some of you guys asked that. Now, if you guys want me to do a complete restoration, that wouldn't be that hard. I'm just gonna have to tear down everything, strip everything down, redo it. I can do that, but I need some, I, I need some encouragement, guys. I need some encouragement. You know, I need some uh, some shout outs, okay? You guys, like, comment on this thing, hate on it, give me some threats, send some threats, whatever, you know? And uh, thank you very much, subscribe guys, later.